Hello there everyone, this is Iron Mark 3 and welcome back to Cosmotia and the hammerhead that was constructed during the previous livestream. A four and a half thousand ton beast with 588 crew on board. Which, um... Oh, when I hit S it quick saves. Okay, that explains a few things. Um, which is actually frankly a bit too big. I mean, seriously, this thing costs a, a, an absolute bomb to jump around. Let's show you. That's why I'm starting here, by the way. I mean, to even get to the nearest place, which is just just over here, it's like 573. So, yeah, it's not worth it to hit the uh, small sectors at all. I have to buy fuel now to get, well, just about anywhere. Let's buy a couple hundred thousand worth of fuel. I'm going to have to spend my reserves just feeding this beast now, so I have to hit more lucrative targets. And I'm not sure I can afford really to go after the lighter targets anymore. Such is the problem. Three elites, let's go munch on them. Come, my people, charge the FTL drives. I wonder if I got too much crew, actually. <laughs> I don't think I do, because these missile systems, when they are reloading, they require so much crew. Okay. But then, of course, there is the fact that, um, you know, I've been told that it's more efficient to just... to just go ahead and, you know, segregate, segregate crew in various places around the ship with localized systems so they don't go wandering all over the place and it's just more efficient to do that with that and it makes me cry a little inside because quite frankly that shows a limitation on how the game handles the crew mechanics and movement so it doesn't assign people to a local sector or anything like that okay so i'm against a biter apparently hmm also the camera has latched onto things again. How do I fix that? What just happened? And I crashed the game. <laughs> Yay. Apparently when you press Q, it crashes the game. Hmm. Never mind, be back in just a second. Oh, wow. Oh, no! So what did that do? I have no idea. Except that this guy is apparently trying to grab me and he's not doing a very good job of it. So, good for you, sir. You're doing very well. Not really. Also, I seem to have got... I, I need to look up what Q does actually because something is not right. In the meantime, that guy is very, very dead. And that's almost paid for the fuel I used to get here as well. Minor damage to the side, mostly. That's okay. Right. Menu. Settings. Um. Interface. Controls. Okay. Edit controls. Thank you. Right. What do we got? I need to find Q. Hmm. I also need to find where to rotate my UI. So, that's that. I had to look that up uh, during the stream as well, actually. Um, what does... Toggle part on or off? Select all parts. Nope, that's not the stuff I'm after. Hmm. ADWS. Well, S is apparently quick save as well, so that's something. Oh, here we go. Brackets left and right. Okay. Reset, rotation, backslash. Good. Still kind of wondering what the heck Q's for. Not really seeing it anywhere. Hmm. Okay, this, you can get shortcuts for a lot of things, apparently. And there's nothing t tied to Q, so... Okay, right. 
Oh, that was confusing. However, I must point out the brackets don't seem to be working, so it's like... Um, Yeah, I, I have no control over my camera. <laughs> well, what can I say? Early access is... Well, er, early build is early build, isn't it? Wow. Also, my ships does feel quite slow. Oh, something I should mention, actually. I have actually gone ahead and... Why do I keep having things? I have gone ahead and installed more fire extinguishers all over the place. So that's the thing I've done. Okay, what are you? You are just... Well, apparently I don't even need to worry really about the links. I can just kill them really easily. I lost the time. Dead, and those two did 7,000. Yes, I can kill elites at will. So. I need to do something about my flipping slowdown rate because that is kind of terrible. Let's see. I want to get more reverse engines. But they're going to have to be back here because there's not any space for them in this area. So, I have to be aware of the missiles and the side thrusters I've got lying around. Let's make it like that. No, they need some side thrusters here too. Hmm. Gonna lose a PD there. C can't really be helped. Uh, undo that. Right. Okay, so that's all connected, mostly. Um, I need some PDs. Let's actually go ahead and install some PD here. So there's a couple of forward-facing point defense guns, <clears throat> a battery that back here at the corner, and I need, of course, some power reactors in the area too, which will help to power everything. So like that. I am aware, of course, that this is going to make me uh, even more, well, bad uh, on my jump efficiency, but uh, can't really be helped now, can it? My ship is just growing larger and larger. And of course, because it might get shot at, it's got a small shield in the area. But, but there's lots and lots of PD fire all over the place, so that's all going to help. Actually, no, that, that's not... I don't, I don't want it like that. I want a couple of small thrusters, please. Right, because I want to start including some armor as well. So, I'll just work that in there. Fill this entire area with armor. And now work out where I want to put the corridors. I see, I need that link there. Link there. I need a link there. And I need a link there. The fire extinguisher will help. Install a door there. Take it out there. Install a door there. Okay. Yeah, this is looking alright. And then people can still get into this area if they need to, though it's a bit of a winding passage to get in. I must point that out. There we go. It's a winding passage to get anything into this area, so I actually need to pack it in with some more crew, I think. So there we go. It's not very well armoured, so it's, not, it's going to get knocked out pretty easily, but... You can't have everything, can you? Not really. Add a fire extinguisher down here. And there we go. So, we've got more engines arrays. More everything. I didn't take out those side engines there, actually. I could easily take that out and make improve access, but we'll see how that goes like that. The hammerhead is... Oh, yeah, that feels better. Okay, let's go ahead and jump. Next target nearby is I could go for... 564 to get there. No way. That's not not, not going to be worth it. Neither is that place. I am becoming a very picky bounty hunter, actually. All right, let's go for the three elites. Yeah, let's shoot these guys. Actually, that's the point. Am I still 95% efficient? Ooh. -hoo. Right. I need an I need an additional 
set of FTL drives, I think. Yeah, it's down here. These areas that are getting slightly out of the way. Let's do that, followed by an engine there. Because on this monster, I've got to keep my efficiency up. There we go. That's that's got, got a good 30 odd FTL fuel off it. <laughs> so much better. Wow, I'm I'm being stingy over 30 FTL fuel. That's actually really really bad. Okay, you're a quicksilver interceptor. Lots of cannons, couple of emitters. I don't really care too much. He's going to damage my emitters a little bit, I think. But that's why I've got lots of shields towards the front. And yeah, my pulse weapons have knocked out his beams really quickly. Basically, I'm able to hunt everything. So, if I'm, hunt if I'm, if I'm handling elites okay, then I think what's left to do is for me to actually... Ooh, an Omega. Lots and lots of cannons on that. But I don't really worry about that. Because all my missiles are just going to slam into it from the back. Actually, let's knock out its laser. Let's do that. Because it's, it's shredding through some of my core systems a little bit. objective for today is I'm actually going to take the uh, hammerhead. It's 4.75 thousand ton, 612 crew behemoth. And pit it against an, a uh, vanguard ship. Because I can knock out elites pretty easily now. So it's about time I was going for vanguards I think. Go against the strongest opponents this game has to offer and see how we do. Yeah, look, look, I'm not even needing all of my crew now. Some of my crew bases are just sitting there idle. While I suddenly blow this crap apart. Oh, ow, that was a nasty hit. Okay. Yeah, I think he's dead. <laughs> yeah, I've, I've got those four crew bays down there just not doing anything anymore. Minor damage, not anything serious. Yeah, I think it's time to go and try and take on a vanguard. Let's see how we do. I should probably save, I suppose, but fact is that I'm trying to treat this like a survival series. So, you know, it's like, um, will I survive? Will I live? Will I die? Saving kind of feels like I'm cheating the system slightly. Uh, not sure. Anyway, let's go. We've got a vanguard position 326 just to go that far. Flipping heck. Okay, let's see what a vanguard's like. I know for a fact they are ridiculous designs, and even heavier and larger than me. There we go, everything is charged up. Except when people get back to where they want to be. There we go, and engage. Right, let's see what the vanguard's like. Hello, Mr. Vanguard! <laughs> we go. I should, I should let my ship charge up first. L let's make sure that all weapons are stocked, all shields are active, all bays are replenished with their power reserves. I mean, you can see this little loop going on here with people just running back and forth to supply this section. Actually, that's a slight inefficiency there. It'd be slightly more efficient if... Where is it? Yeah, it's, it's, um, it's this one, yeah, it's this one. It'd be slightly more efficient to have a door there instead, because then it, they wouldn't have to go all the way across there, so instead it's just in that corner there. While that, these doors are fine, they just let people go here, there, and everywhere, just making sure they get to actually heck with it. Let's, let's install a door there, too. There we go. $500, make the craft a little bit more efficient. Anyway, first target is this guy, who is... I think. Hmm. Forward beams, lots and lots of cannons on the other sides. It's a twin, a twin cruiser. Oh, okay. 
well, I've got far more missiles than he's got point defences, but he's got s many, many cannons. Let's see how well we do. Taking some structural damage already. Shields are dropping on some of the sections. I am, however, doing some damage to him as well, so, you know, it's like, uh, no crew. Oh, they're out of power. Yeah, it seems like some power system inefficiencies going on as well. But people are still running to their stations. This is where um, having people trapped in localised areas would be much better because I'd have so many people right here just charging the system and then these guys would be coming from all the way over the ship to do it. Oh dear, I'm taking some cannon hits. But he's taking more hits than I am. Just a few more. Let's actually target that. Blow his reactors out. Let's see how he likes. Oh, ouch! My missiles have blown part of his ship clean off. It seems like that ion cannon is gone. That one's. Those two are okay, but that section's been. Well, it's moderately damaged. My missiles, though. My missiles seem to be my main firepower. The front of the ship is more about savaging the enemy ship and stopping it. The missiles are doing the true damage, and they are very safe safely tucked away in the actual spine of my ship. And this is going to be the very first uh, vanguard I've ever taken out. Well, this one. Ooh, this one 442 jump field. Wow, we like it. Yeah, it, the missiles, they just couldn't stop the missiles. But, and he's losing all of his weaponry now. Though I need to knock out this cannon pretty quick. So no, this guy is still the main thing. Hit that generator there, please, and let's accelerate to better speed. Oh, I'm actually pretty happy with how the how my ship's holding up. It's doing really well. Oh, that thing got pummeled by my missiles anyway. I've lost parts of my forward section, but no significant breaches beyond that. As you can see, it punched through that and then hit down the um, the conveyor links right behind it. But then it smacked into a plate of armour and more or less stopped. So, really? You, you, you're trying to kill that thing now? I'm guessing... Oh, that's a flight control. I see. That flight control will die! Look at all the missiles trying to hit it. Oh dear. Yeah, please kill this ship, please. Ah. Oh, this place is burning. Very, very badly. Yeah, this thing will self-destruct if I leave it alone, but I'm not going to leave it. See? There we go. Right. Hmm. Um, minor damage to the side armouring. Most of the damage was in the forward area and near the beam cannons. That's what I mentioned about um, beam cannons being a bit of a weak point. Well, I think I mentioned that in a comment, actually. But uh, the comment was that missiles and beams are the best weapons, but they do leave massive kind of weak points in your structure. Like, that one got punched straight through like heavy cannon fire. So, yeah, 27,000 damage, though. That's pretty darn light, all things considered. Let's get the ship charged back up to full capacity. So it's all good to go again. But th this interlaced armouring heavy nose section is definitely proving its worth, I think. So, we've taken down the first Vanguard class. Hooray! I feel proud of you, little hammerhead. Let's see what happens when I hit the next guy. The he Cerberus? What the heck is that? Uh, um, again, I've not been... Oh, wow. Many, many, many beams. Oh dear. Uh, hmm. I could try to punch through there, but that's a lot of shield emitters. On the other hand, I've got a lot of electrobolts, so I could knock through his shields fairly well. Yeah, let's 
let's try and knock through his shielding. Though the problem is he's got lots of cannons on the front too. That's not good. Maybe knocking out his central head first would be a better idea. Then again, all my missiles will be coming in from the sides, won't they? Yeah. Um, a couple of PD guns? That's not going to do the trick, buddy. I've got too much stuff. But yeah, my, my, de my defensive shield is nothing like as powerful as his. Let's focus down his, um, his core, actually. His, his central head. Oh, yeah, that laser's just chewing straight through me. Oh dear. I've already lost one of my ions. My electro bolts are too scattered to really focus fire at such close range, but now that I've backed up a little bit, I am able to do so. Uh, my forward armor, though, is getting savage just a, just a tad. And I can't hit his electro bolts in here because, well, I, I can't. You are my only hope here. I am taking a fair bit of damage on the front. Also, he's pushing close. I'm backing up. Yeah, my armor is buckling. Oh, my missiles are chewing through. Oh dear, one of his heads just gave way. This is good. This is very good. Oh, that's a... All of my beam emitters are down, but the sides of my hammerhead are still going strong. Yeah, that, that head is still fighting, actually, I think. Well, it's, it's trying to. Yeah, it's still fighting. I've got to get those emitters down. They are boring straight through my ship pretty quickly. Yeah. Oh, here come the missiles. Boom. That, that's why you have to be careful with your reactor placement, because... Oh, yeah. See? Chain reaction, the entire thing just went up. Ooh, ow! That was... Yeah, I think I might have won this. I'm taking a bit of a savaging myself, but... They are taking much worse than I am. And this is why I try to keep the reactors away from my front. And the, away from each other as well, because if they were getting blown to pieces, then... They take out a sizable area around them. This poor surface thing, I mean, look at it. Jeez. Nope, oh, these missiles are about to set off that lot. Oh, they're going too far. Uh, it just needs one missile to go straight into there, and then that entire nose section will just get blasted off. I'll tell you what, let's focus on that one. Let's see if the missiles. Because the missiles are being targeted by that as well. That's where these thick red lines are coming from. Let's see if we can target a missile at that bit. Not really, we're still moving too much. Still, this forward weapon is now actually gone thanks to mine. But the, the heart of my ship is almost, has well, been worn through quite significantly. Oh, yep, yeah, there we go. Kaboom. That should have blasted his nose clear. It did. Yep. His ship is now in pieces. Mine, however, is still holding together. <laughs> I, I quite like my design, actually. I didn't think he was up to Vanguard scale engagements, but it, it clearly is, so... Yeah. It's the missiles that are doing the trick. The front is incredibly thick and able to do it, to deal with the incoming enemy fire, but the missiles are definitely the system which is letting the ship function properly. Yep, and dead so. But look at my front. Look at my front. He got through half of my armor layer at the front. Now that said, he didn't actually get near any of the reactors. The reactors still had solid layers of armor protecting them, so <laughs> I wasn't in danger of an internal explosion. Not for a little bit m longer. I'm quite chuffed with this design, actually. Let's see, uh, 100,000 damage, so a quarter of his bounty has to go on fixing the pounding that he dished out on me. But a lot of his progress was actually the hollows where he blew out my shield emitters, now that I'm looking at it.
Yeah, the shield emitters and lasers, that's where he made significant progress in this area. Huh. Okay, let's see. Uh, next up is another Vanguard sector. And that actually filled up my FTL reserve. I should build more FTL reserves. Just, for, just to keep more FTL fuel on standby. Because it is good. You know? Just because it is good. Let's put some in here. So I can store a bit more. This is odd, really. I think it's odd because I'm I'm storing FTL fuel. I'm adding more cores just to store FTL fuel. But hey, if 2,100 fuel storage, that'll let me jump into lighter sectors and clean them out pretty easily. Though I'll need to hit the Vanguard sectors to really stock up on fuel. Okay, rearm, recharge, prepare. We're all ready? Yes, we're all ready. Okay, let's hit the things. I've noticed though, with the ships of these sizes involved, the game is getting slightly laggy on my screen. Ooh, an Archangel. Let's see what you've got. You've got um, massive sets of beams. Lots. Of, uh, well, your beams are your main weapon, actually, so I'm just going to kill those. Then you've got a bunch of... Oh, you've got missiles. Okay, my forward anti-missile systems are actually not very good. But I can definitely deliver the reason. Reactors are in clusters, though. straight out of the fight. Okay. Target the missile, please. Well, actually target the local reactor sets. Cannons I can withstand a bit better, because the, the thick armor plating stops them quite effectively. Okay, he's turning that way, because that's where a lot of his armor is. So his weapon is. But now he's getting savaged in this section by my own heavy firepower. Yep, there goes one of my beams. So, yeah. The beams proving to be a vulnerable point. Constant public by missiles is he's undoing very much so. Pax is almost out of weapons because of how he turned around. His his core is heavily armoured, but he spun around so much that um, that my stuff was oh I just severed his entire rear drive section. <laughs> What's left of it rather? Yeah, he's got this massive armoured core, but then he just kept spinning around to expose his weapon systems to me. That's an advantage for my design style, I think, because I've got this massive, heavy reinforced forward prow. My back is very likely defended, but it's got these indirect fire weapons, so they've got to get past my prow to actually get at me. Then it's definitely good rival, definitely working. I'm just not going to the way through this armor. And there goes that reactor set. Okay. That leaves this reactor set down here, which needs to be cleaned. There we go. Ship destroyed. And that's already filled up my FTL reserve. Right. Um, tear out these turning thrusters. Yes. Then refill the area using FTL cores because, you know, I want to pack rats as much FTL um, reserves as I can. I uh, should probably install a power reserve down there too, shouldn't I? But that would mean less FTL storage. Yeah, that's just that's that's just pure FTL storage. Oh dear. I'd still feel very conceited really doing that, but hey, if it lets me move around more easily in this ship, which is really really big, then so be it. So I've oh yep. 4x speed, it doesn't like having such um, big ships running around. I think the fact I'm towing that is also a bit of an issue. Hmm. But yeah, as soon as I hit 4, it's actually... Oh, hello! It's um, a dragon sword. This is the only... Before today, this is the only Vanguard ship I'd actually seen. 
because I ran into this one in my blind jump ages back just to see what was um, awaiting me in the Vanguard sectors. I ran into one of these. So let's see how I do against this one now in an actual better ship. Oh, look at my missiles just going straight into there. Uh, yeah, I'm taking damage. They're focusing on my weakness at the side sections this time. That's fair. Yeah, they're going for my cannons, it looks like. But I am actually tearing their ship in half. Yeah, there goes the there goes the prow. I've got so many reactors spread out around the place, actually. Target that one. Shoot it. Oh dear. Yeah, I think he, I think I think I've got this one. <laughs> I think I've got one. Oh, this is so very different to when I jumped into this before. It, it, it really. It was basically a Model 1. Yeah, it was basically just a Model 1 with a few extra parts. And it got annihilated. But this time, I'm strong enough to withstand the punishment. So, yay! The Dakazor is definitely beaten. 663 fuel though for this guy. I think I'm going to need even more of FTL storage to be quite honest with you. If I want to jump around as I please, I need more fuel. Defeated 265. Only inflicted 26,000 in damage. Wow. I love you, nice, my little hammerhead ship. <laughs> anyway, uh, that's it for this video, I'm afraid. This has been, been my first time hunting Vanguard class opponents, and I am holding up just fine. This has been Iron Mark 3. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the show, and I'll catch you all some other time. See you all later. Not, not bad. If only the crew was a bit more efficient, though. <laughs>